did they say? Nothing. Did you tell them that they sprayed faggot on your locker and threw pink paint on your And did you tell them that they're doing it because they think you're gay? I didn't have to. When I walked into the room, they looked at me like I was an alien or something. When I told them about the lockers, they looked at me like I deserved it. When I told them about the paint, they laughed. I'd probably be, sus I'd probably be suspended now if I told them that I pee behind the back dumpsters. Because I'm too scared to go to the bathroom from what happened last time. This isn't right. They're supposed to help us. I don't understand why they're not helping you. Mike got suspended for a week last year for pushing some nerd into the garbage can. They can't choose sides. They gave me information to the LGBT center to talk to somebody about being gay and said they don't get involved unless it gets physical. But it is physical. You must not explain yourself well enough. Mike always got suspended for doing the littlest things. I don't get this. Donna said something about them losing money if this. School suspended the bullies for bullying me, and they might lose money. What does the school losing money have to do with these boys making your life a living hell? They'd be sending a message that it's okay to be gay. And then they might lose board members or something. This isn't right. We need to do something about it. Don't even worry about it. It doesn't matter anymore. Who wants to deal with this? The way people look at me? Nobody talks to me. Everybody treats me like I have a disease or something. I've always been the weird one. The one too sensitive, always crying too much. The sissy. As far as back as I can remember, I always had a bully. Sometimes, sometimes I wish I was just dead or something. Hello, Mike. Yeah, my parents said I could go to the movies with you. Yeah, everyone will be outside when we drive up. <laughs> yeah, I just need about 15 minutes. I just have to get dressed and finish talking to your son, and I'll be ready. No, no, you're not rushing me. No, he's fine. He just needs someone to talk to. Yeah, you should bring your sister. Maybe she can make him feel better, since they're the same. But hurry, I miss you. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. Go get ready for your date. Listen, Mike's sister is a lesbian. And she's always talking about starting a support group at school. Maybe you could help her. She's going to come by and talk to you in a little bit. Make you feel better. I mean, she's better for you to talk to than me anyway, because I like boys and not girls. I just know that no one deserves to be bullied. You'll be fine. Maybe you just need to get out of this room or something. It's so depressing in here. Look, I love you. You'll be fine. <laughs>